You know, I've still never had a, a KFC double down. I wonder, I, I might be at the point in my life where I should stop saying I haven't done this yet. And for th like, there's some things I haven't done that maybe I'll do one day. Maybe, I don't know, I haven't thought about it too hard. <laughs> maybe one day I'll buy a van. I could say I haven't uh, bought a van yet. That seems realistic. But I'm, I'm old enough that if I have no plan for ever doing something, I should stop saying I'm not, I haven't done something yet and start saying, I don't think it's ever going to happen. My life is not structured in such a way that it's likely I will ever eat a KFC double down sandwich. I only go to KFC once every three years, once every five years, maybe. It's usually in like a mall food court or something like that. I, and whenever I'm there, I'm like, you know, it's been so long since I've been at KFC. I don't feel the need to mix it up. Let me get a two-piece fries and gravy. Oh, you're out of gravy. Okay, I'll take a, a Diet Dr. Pepper then. If you could have some pog banter about two hours from now when my laundry finishes, that would be much appreciated. Okay, okay. Um, hi, Siri. Sorry, I forgot. Hi, Bixby. Set a reminder for two hours from now to have some good banter for when Toasty's laundry comes out of the dryer. Today at 11.06 a.m. All right. Reminder saved. Seems about right. That's eight. Chat GPT-4 just came out 49 hours ago. Here's 49 amazing things that it can do to enhance your life. Emoji pointing downwards, thread emoji. I saw a thread like that. Um, like number three on the list was have your business idea criticized or critiqued by a famous person. Um, so it, it said, it was like critique my business plan as if you were Steve Jobs. And then it was like it was like selling it as if you could actually get wisdom from Steve Jobs from the grave. Like he would it would tap into his soul and be like I would I hope that that's not how it works. Because if my ass was in eternal slumber and then they were like Steve Steve wake up. It's a grilled cheese sandwich but like you make it yourself at the store. I'd be like, dude, five more minutes, bitch, five more minutes. I'm not ready to come back yet. What was this? Hang on. San Francisco grilled cheese startup. How the trendiest grilled cheese venture <laughs> got burnt. Oh, man. The melt had cash technology in some of Silicon Valley's finest minds, yet it failed to disrupt the humble sandwich. In the spring of 2011, more than 500 tech luminaries, kingmakers, entrepreneurs, and journalists convened in yada, 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 $4,795 a head to talk to Mark Andreessen, yada, yada, yada. He teased a new company that founded on the exact same fundamentals that led to the invention of the Flip HD camera. The new company was called The Melt. Its slogan was Grilled Cheese Happiness. The sandwich has formed a minimalist menu accompanied by only soup. It turns out when you put soup and grilled cheese together, it's really wonderful, Kaplan informed his audience, as if divulging a trade secret. Forget Mars colonies and AI, Kaplan had declared that he had developed a set of technology that allows us to make the perfect grilled cheese. It's called butter and maybe like a cast iron pan. The Melt group boasted an elite group of investors, including Sequoia Capital, better known for its bets on Instagram and YouTube, and enough cash to launch 20 restaurants as a, at a cost of $500,000 to $1 million apiece. With the home appliance company Electrolux, he created a device that delivered a restaurant-quality sandwich. You're opening restaurants, man! It's got to be a restaurant-quality sandwich! You, you are a restaurant! When you say restaurant-quality, that's usually for, like, your house. And it's a lie, but anyway, you can have a restaurant quality sandwich in 45 seconds flat. A huge breakthrough in sandwich technology. Sandwich presses have been around forever, protested a skeptical Mossberg. It's not a sandwich press, Kaplan retorted. This is two induction burners. 
Microwaves. Silpats. I don't know what a silpat is, I'll admit. Next, this is from 2017. Next month marks the six-year anniversary of the Melts onstage debut. debut. Far from 500 stores, it now runs a grand total of 18 outlets. I mean, you can. this is an idea that you should poo-poo because it already came out. I mean, it sounded stupid when it came out and then also it, it then failed. So this is like, you can definitely go in on it. And you might say it's punching down to like uh, to kick a business like this when it's already deceased. But this is one of those th- it's emblematic of the zero interest rate phenomenon that we lived in for the past decade. They raised $20 million in startup capital to open a franchise of grilled cheese restaurants before the first one even existed as a proof of concept. Here's the way that the restaurant business works, kid. A really, really passionate person opens a restaurant leveraging their retirement fund, okay? They cook amazing food. It becomes really popular. It becomes uh, like an anchor tenant in the community. And then they get dollar signs in their eyes and they say, we got to expand and bring this to more people. All of a sudden, that local restaurant now has four restaurants within the same area code. And they're still keeping the quality like relatively consistent. And then somebody from Calgary goes to Vancouver and says, wow, this place is great. I'd love to franchise it. They say, why not? It's free money. All of a sudden, you got... uh, a hundred of them are now open across the, the country. Uh, every single one that opens somehow drains the quality of all the other ones that already exist. And then, you know, 20 years after it was founded, it goes from being a place where you could go with your family, sit down, have a nice meal at a reasonable price to uh, Earl's where a plate of nachos is $32. But at least uh, they're in every airport terminal in Western Canada. You don't just open them all at once. I know the pipeline. A lot, lot of restaurants in the pipeline right now. The, people are not ready for this take yet. Some very good uh, Vancouver restaurants are in that pipeline right now. A couple of good Vancouver restaurants. They've, they've already opened their first YVR airport location. I, that maybe I'll be proven wrong, but to me that seems like the beginning of the end. Danke. I'm not going off about Sally Lamont. I'm just saying... <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted, okay? Because the, there's such a uh, there's market forces at play, okay? There's such a gap in good Mexican food in Vancouver that like a, a restaurant that's merely good can can fill that gap and take over. It's gray goo, not the food. The food was okay, but it's like the gray goo phenomenon. Yeah, there's complex macroeconomics. So I was trying to explain that nobody, everyone was just laughing in Justin's chat last night. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh, it's so funny. Watching Justin watch a game show. All of a sudden, he's watching a Canadian game show. They won $6,000 over the course of a week in 1987. And, uh, hang on, do I have this set up right? Yeah, more or less. Justin's friend Bloody says, let's look at how the Canadian dollars performed. Whoa, it was pretty strong in 1980, but whoa, it tanked in like 2012. I wonder why the Canadian dollar is so bad. I'm typing like a madman in Justin's chat. There's complex macroeconomic forces at bay. First, we're an export-focused economy and the United States is our biggest trade partner, so we need to keep our dollar a little bit weaker artificially in order to, you know, have be able to stay competitive with American producers. Also, the Canadian fund has stopped raising interest rates, which means that enormous institutional depositors are more likely to transfer their money out of CAD into USD because they can eke out a couple of extra basis points because it seems like the US Fed is going to keep hiking for a bit. Everyone is going, ha 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 ha, well, that's, the game show is so funny, the game show is so funny, I'm like, fuck it, listen to me! There's a lot of, there's a lot of inputs, okay? It's not just your dollar is weak or your country sucks, okay? They all suck for, like, different reasons. Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 367 points, 1.2%. S&P 500 slid 1%, while the NASDAQ Composite was down 0.8%. Excuse me, this is not... Why are they using the past tense? The market only opened three hours ago. There's still, um... Still, like, four... And four hours and 45 minutes to go. They shouldn't say slid. They should say is sliding. (laughs) You didn't sell, did you, Anand? When the S&P 500 went down 367 points? That would actually be like 9%. That would be a that would be a pretty catastrophic day. We don't talk about the Dow because I'm not 100 years old. Um, Okay, slash marker. Big ambitions. 
It's the day you've all been waiting for. Big Ambitions is back. I think, honestly, I'm going to... I'm I'm scrapping the tutorial. Not just because we bought... You know, we spent 25% of our net worth on jewelry. And then the tutorial was like, don't sell jewelry, sell burgers. But I think we're, we're ready to start, you know, Miss Frizzle. We're ready to start making mistakes, getting messy. And... Um, Take ch taking chances. That's the third one, right? 60 days. I, I mean, I'll, I'll keep this as they've asked for it. But man, is this what it's like to be the president? I'm not saying that you can disable aging or happiness. But imagine just being able to be like a surprise. Okay, I don't know about that one. <laughs> that, would, that, that would make it hard to get ahead in life, I would say. We'll probably put that back down. I mean, wait, wait, what is this, Sweden? <laughs> It's the healthy 10%. Not because they think 10% is the right level, but because it, the, the game said 10% is the default. Let's let's leave everything at default for now. Name my, I want to name myself like a like a TikTok investor. And I think that the, the Fat Rat Flex, that's not going to be our name, but thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. TikTok investor names are always like, what's up? My name is Madison. And you could really do it like either way here like but we're gonna i'm gonna stick with the the devil i know kelsey grammar real thank you as well and for the gifted subs i know you're probably stoked about the um the 10 percent tax rate we got here i think madison square is a perfect name whoever first suggested that in chat you get all the credit no joke i on my peloton rides today i saw a there was a leaderboard name that was like I love Costco or something like that. And I was like, maybe it's maybe it's too far. Maybe I got to pare back my own Costco enjoyment. Because as soon as I saw that, I was like, that's extremely lame. <laughs> it wasn't I pedal for Costco. But it was like um, the Costco guy or something like that. And I'm like, brother, a stream tag is one thing. But to make it like your whole identity. But then again, everybody else's identity on Peloton is either like you know, not a snowflake or like I pedal for whiskey, I pedal for beer, I pedal for wine. So at least, I mean, you're right. He could, what do I know? He could be an executive. How was the Peloton today? Oh, it was, it was I mean, today's, um, is it, it's a 90 minute Marty. Yeah, there's no, no rich uncle this time, but you can get a loan from the bank and it said the interest rate was one and a half percent. So like, I mean, this is like going back in time to the the crazy days of, uh, you know, 2022 quarter one. Hello, sir. Hello, hello, money dispenser. Larry, you can't sit down while using a hand truck. There's no crying in baseball. I would like a new loan. I'm going to be straight up with you, Larry. I'm going to need about 20 grand in order to get this thing started. I'm afraid that's more than we can offer. We're not able to lend you more than a total of $1,800? $1,800? What the hell am I supposed to do with that, man? I gotta get a damn job. I didn't realize how much of a, a leg up it is to have a rich uncle. Also, didn't I have four grand? How much was the fridge? I thought the fridge was like 1800 I gotta get a job at the damn store. I better get a job today. I, I still need a bed, too. No, I'll just sleep on the park bench. That's okay. In real life, it would suck pretty bad. But, you know, in the game, I mean, I don't really, I don't really care if my guy has amenities. But I need to buy damn groceries, too, man. You had to pay a $1,300 deposit on your apartment? What is this, a damn daycare? Hello? You ever have to do this, by the way? I, I'm sure a lot of people have. You may think that this is like uniquely a Gen Z thing, but my parents definitely, um, when I was in university, they were like, you need to get a job. We're just going to print out a bunch of your resumes and um, then we're going to drive you around to local businesses. You're going to walk in, find the first person in the business who probably is also a minimum wage employee like you aspire to be. And then you're just going to be like, excuse me, sir or ma'am, can I speak to the manager? And then you go see the manager and you're like, I would like to apply for employment in your fine establishment. Is that how you got your job at Goodwill? It is because I dropped off my resume at like 
It's like 10% of my net worth, man. I dropped off my resume at like 25 businesses and Goodwill was the only one that gave me a call back. And then the, the ultimate red flag, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, don't get me wrong. But the ultimate red flag should be that not only were they the only business that called me back, but I, when I went in for my job interview, they hired me on the spot. And as a 18 year old, I was like, wow, I must be like really good at job interviews. But now I'm like, that place must have the most like fucked up turnover of all time. <laughs> Cause that is, uh, that is not normal. I can only go to sleep for four hours. At least I got some energy, but I can't really do anything to make any money. Start the hustle. I can't. I don't know, man. I don't know what I could do. I guess I'll just go back to sleep. <laughs> Can I start subletting my apartment? Because I don't even use it anyway. It's just a place to hold my fridge. Can you at least give my guy like some Netflix or something like that? So he's got something to distract himself. I mean, you're <laughs> I can I can I sell my apartment? Because like I'm, I'm just being honest with you. I feel like we're not using it. Why are we wasting 40 bucks a day in rent if we're just going to sleep on the park bench outside of the grocery store? We should, we should give up our apartment so we can start our business a little faster. I do it honestly. I had to say it. I think we should save and exit the desktop. I think we should restart. I can't believe I just got a taste of what real life is like. Buy a bed? It doesn't matter. Like it's, In real life, it matters. I would much rather sleep on a bed than sleep outside. But if you want to get ahead in this life, do what you got to do. Sell your computer. Sell your bed. Sell. You should have one fork and one plate in your apartment. Sell your floor. Sell your walls. I see no green. Can I pinch you? No, you should go talk to an optometrist. Because I am wearing a green shirt. Okay. This is only 38 bucks a day. It's a one grand deposit. Okay. It's ch I'll just sleep in here, man. This is cheaper than my damn uh, apartment. Step one. We go to Jensen Capital. And I'm honestly, I'm going to take whatever you're going to give me, Larry. And I think that that might be 1890. We can't give you a loan with your current economy. You can't give me a loan at all. Okay, get fucked. Silicon Valley Bank. Well, what, what do you mean you can't give a loan in this economy? It sounds like your ass should be out of business then. What do you do? All you do, all you do is uh, you borrow short, lend long. You're not, lend, you're not lending long? Then what are you doing? How goes Burger City? We, we started a new um, campaign because the previous one was too easy. Now we're learning. Now we're learning what, what life is really like. Now, let me tell you, I want to restart again because I didn't realize that the bank would not give, they would give me a loan when I didn't have a business. But as soon as I'm like, hey, I have a business and a building and a shelf, they were like, we can't, you're not profitable. We can't invest in you. Bitch, you're not investing. It's called a, it's called a loan. Previously, I had no cash flow. I was a grocery store cashier that slept on a park bench. Now I'm like, I, I got a chance in, in the rat race. Can you hook me up a little bit? It's because you have no home. Isn't it better in the, in the bank's eyes if I have no home? Like, because I was just renting the other one anyway. You keep skipping the first step, getting a job. Brother, I got a job! Cashier, Elgato Food Market, 23 Third Street. Today's my day off. Stop hassling me. Okay. Then I will consume this fresh food. And then it is polyphasic sleepy. T Sorry, D uh, discard this paper bag. Sleep for four hours. Really nothing to do. Scary out here. Sleep again. Nothing to do. Okay, start work in 15 minutes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Can you say hi, Chad? Are you having fun with mommy? What's what's daddy doing? Look. I'm walking. 
You know what though? Oh, I'm working. That's true. That's true. You should never do what daddy's doing in this game. You shouldn't run on the, on the street. You should always run on the sidewalk. I'm going to purchase some small gifts. Some cheap gifts. It's $1,400. That's a lot of money. But I'm doing this for you, honey. So that one day you can resent me in nice clothes. And, uh, and a, a beautiful Bauhaus condo in the downtown city center somewhere. What do you think about that? That's not funny. Okay, sorry. I'm just telling a joke. I'm just telling a joke. He's... The, ooh! I didn't lift her up because at first I was worried that this thing would have some <laughs> information on it. I'm just picking you up so I can show the audience that you're wearing green. Because today is... What day is today? Oh, well, it's Friday, but what day is today? Don't, don't touch the microphone. It's Saint... No way. No way? What day is today? Friday. It is Friday. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. All right, hang on, honey. Daddy's got to go to sleep. I got to discard this paper bag. Hey, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That guy almost hit me. That, you know what? That's why you always got to... That's why you got to wait till the light turns green and the, and the walk sign turns on, okay? <laughs> she jumped. Sorry, honey. Okay, wait. Tomo. Yeah, he's under my screen now. I didn't know that they got an advanced uh, green there. I still need a stack of shopping baskets. I think I've probably got to work for one more day to get some shopping baskets. This is, It's like Grand Theft Auto Zero. <laughs> Don't do what? Don't do what again? Don't do that again? Don't do it. Chocolate milk? Okay. Let's go. Okay, go ahead. No, now I'm not going to let you go. Now I'm not going to let you go. Okay, you can go. You escaped. Have a good breakfast, honey. I can't wait till I can afford an apartment, though. I didn't realize how good I had it, man. But I'm, it, it'll be a while, though, because I can all... I mean, the park bench is perfectly good. I feel like Gary Vaynerchuk. You, 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 you literally are telling me that you can't do this and you still have a place to live? Sell your house! There's park benches everywhere! You, as, as long as you still have a cell phone in your pocket, you, you, you can become a billionaire! Here's a list of garage sales in your neighborhood. Now get cracking! Where's this house? We don't have one yet. Look, this isn't like life in the 1950s. You don't get a house and then get a job. Opening in 15 hours? <laughs> it's okay, tomorrow's my day off anyway. My dude's so happy. Because you know what? Happiness is a mindset. That's what I've always said. Opens in three hours. Okay, look at his drive. Have you... Have, you, you really... You, you're coming to me? You haven't slept for 21 hours straight on a park bench and you're coming to me asking for help? You, you literally haven't done everything in your power yet. Okay, I, I need to speak with um, the recruitment agent. I'm sorry. You're required to complete the basic management course at Manhattan Business School before you can hire an employee. Okay. Life is so fucked up. <laughs> Can I at least call them on my phone now? How much is this shit going to cost me? Goddamn <laughs> regulations. <laughs> I haven't earned food yet. I'm going to eat after my shift. Okay, my guy's not too happy. And he's very hungry and he's very sleepy. All of his meters went down to zero. I should have eaten before. The downward spiral. No, 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 it's okay. We'll take a quick Thomas Edison nap. We can sleep for... 
18 minutes. <laughs> I thought that would do it, man. I, God is my witness. I thought that would do it. But you know what? You can't put a price tag on the enjoyment that you get from running your own business, okay? You're going into a sad period of no leaving vehicle slash home. But look at the money we made! It's about the money! You're no longer in a sad period! Let's go! Sigma mindset. Okay, now this time we're going to eat before our shift. So honestly, wake me up at... What, what, time, what time does Elgato open? 6 a.m.? Wake, wake me up at 6 proper. You've entered Sigma acidosis. Is that when I stop burning happiness and start burning capital? Joke would have been better in the other direction, but that's fine. I made $554 today. Haters will say it's fake. You can do it too. All you gotta do is pay me $554 for this course. Please just buy a bed. The bank won't give me any more money. They know I'm not good for it, man. I think I gotta give me, give me this. I can't believe how much money I'm spending just to work. This is the American dream. Please hurry, I only have 45 minutes before my, oh no, it's Monday. <laughs> I don't need a, two sodas? Who am I, the Pope? You guys are all laughing at me, but you don't know one day I'll be laughing at you from an apartment. We made money today, and all I did was work the whole day. It's crazy. Capitalism is, is easy. Zach Cook, he's 51 years old. Full, he wants to be full-time. You're hired, okay? Let me go into Bizman. Zach Cook is not assigned to any tasks. Zach, well, you know what? Now, hang on. I could still keep working two jobs. And I could just have the place be open from 9 until 10. And then Zach Cook works it from 9 until 5. Hey! And we got the first stage of, uh, of automation. It's not really automation, but it feels like automation because I'm not doing the work. You're right. We don't have to be closed on Monday anymore. That puts him 56 hours a week. Yeah, but like a lot of that time he's not doing anything. So big whoop. Plus, I don't see him complaining. He's, he's a millennial. He probably has like an actual apartment or something. Everyone's so concerned about employee happiness. Oh, employee happiness. Employee happiness. Um... If this guy gets mad and quits his job, I'll just hire another person. More grist for the fucking mill. They're always always making new 51-year-olds who want to work 58 hours a week as a cash register in a gift shop until they don't. Can somebody please explain this game to me? This game is just like real life. It's easy to become rich. All you have to do is sleep on a park bench for one week. Have Google Maps, for sure. You need Google Maps. I mean, like, I feel like... Well, I don't understand why people are complaining about this guy working 58 hours a week. I would kill to be working 58 hours a week in-game. 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 Because, like, right now, my ass sleeps 20 hours a day. Do you know how boring that is? I would kill to work 58 hours a week just to have something to do. Pop this bad boy down here. Now, nobody fucking touch my fresh food, okay? Nobody fucking touch it. This is my food. You bring your own lunch to work. 58 hours a week, that still leaves you like, I don't know, like 150 hours a week to fucking meal prep, Zach. So before you find yourself getting tempted, oh, maybe the boss isn't gonna notice that I took some of his fresh food. I, I wrote my name on every single one of those foie gras sandwiches, okay? So don't, don't even think that you could sniff a canapé without me knowing exactly what's going on here. And I'm, remember, I live right across the street. So if you think, I, I can look through the damn window. 
I don't even need a, a, a camera. And we don't even need an apartment as soon as we get a car. Like, a car is basically an apartment that can move. Shit is like a Miyazaki movie. How am I doing on energy? Still chilling, as far as I'm concerned. A thousand bucks in my pocket. Honestly, I think you're right. Well, I was going to say I think you're right. Quit my job and fire my employee. But no, because I want to build an empire. When I quit my job, I don't ever want to work ever again. I'm not going to quit my job just to take a job at a gift shop, even if I own the gift shop. All right, I'm here for my shift. You may have noticed I showed up 15 minutes later than normal. I'm only 45 minutes early. That's because I got other shit on the go, okay? I'm not like you guys. I've got prospects. Hang on. Zach Cook. I have to let you know I haven't been happy with my job. If the situation doesn't change soon, I'll see myself forced to find a job at a different company. Hope you understand and will apply the necessary changes. What are the necessary changes, Zach? You didn't give me any feedback. You just said you're unhappy. Keyword, you. I missed the part where that's my problem. Not working 60 hours a week. When I hired his ass, he said full-time high. I'm gonna be honest. You, you had a chance. You had a chance. We're franchising. We're gonna go nightmare mode. We're probably gonna open 500 locations in the next 10 years. You could have been employee number two. Do you know that when we went public, your ass would have been in the three comma club. And instead, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking fire you because you can't handle beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. That'll be $9. Full-time is 50 hours max. Yeah, maybe full-time in America, but not in New York. Between 30 and 50 hours a week. That's what we're, we're getting into a, this song and dance over a measly little eight hours of overtime. Paid overtime. Okay, fine. Guess what, buddy? Forty-nine hours a week. Congrats. Enjoy having hundred and sixty less dollars in your pocket. We'll still fire you later, but for now, you—I need you for now, merely for now. I know, man. He's making twenty-eight dollars an hour. We're working at a, a startup that's about to go to the moon. If anything, he should be paying me twenty-eight dollars an hour for the experience. Why is he sleeping on the bench? Because it's a video game. In real life, I don't want to sleep on a bench. It's going to hurt my back. But this guy, like, isn't real. So if anything, just having, like, a something that's so close so I don't have to spend half of my day running back and forth but like, 17 blocks. Oh, my dude. Is going to be advantageous. <laughs> Cheapest bed is 400 bucks. That's, that's a quality of life improvement. I mean, honestly, if, I, if I'm being straight up with you, we should just close the business today. There's no reason to pay Zach when we're only making four gifts. Or we're only selling a maximum of four gifts today. Today's a Wednesday. Sorry, Zach. You don't have to be here today. Enjoy your, enjoy your first day off. I know you hate working so much and you hate me. I guess I'll never talk ever again. Holy fuck. I need a car just to get to the car dealership? So you gotta have 10 years of experience for the job, but the damn... Framework's only been out for six months. Cheapest car, twenty five hundred. Oh, dude, we can we can do it. And then I don't. Well, if I have a car, I don't need to buy a bed. Cause I'll just sleep in my car. <laughs> I have an insane take. Can I tell it to you? Is this is this my cheapo? Twenty two thousand. Nope. How about this? Eleven thousand. 2500 Oh, baby. And I want to make sure it's recognizable. Here's my insane take. I think if you took someone that is alive in 2023 and is used to technology and time traveled them back to 1980, I think that they would struggle. I think that they... I, I'm just going to go ahead. I don't know if they could make it. I think if you were born in 1960 and you were 20 in the 80s, it was probably like... It's amazing. But I think if, if you took me back to 1980, I think my ass would be so bored. 
Like, I don't know if I, without a cell phone, I don't know if I can handle waiting 10 minutes for someone to like meet me for lunch. If someone was 10 minutes late, like what do I do? I'm just gonna stare straight ahead, like with my thoughts. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm cut from what I would consider to be a pretty good moral fiber. I spend 90 minutes on the Peloton two times a week and then like 60 minutes all the other times. By the end of the 90 minutes, I'm like, my ass is like a little bored. I, I'm a little dopamine starved for sure, especially because the music they play fuck it sucks like 90% of the time. But like, I don't know, what, what would you, without a, you gotta read the back of the ketchup bottle. You're absolutely right. Remember, you used to take poops. And if you didn't have like a, a, a book or a magazine in the bath or in the bathroom, you would just like pick up the back of the head and shoulders bottle and memorize the ingredient list. Whoa, easy there, big fella. We're all trying to get to NY Distro. That's an illegal U-turn, just so you know. They're not going to be too happy with me, but I am, I'm, I've got my blinker on. Don't honk at me, motherfucker. i got to get into the parking lot. Your ass shouldn't have entered the intersection if you knew that you couldn't make it through safely. I'm not parked. I'm not parked. I'm waiting for them to... i got to get into the parking lot. Don't honk at my ass because you, you thought I... You would just assume that I was going to keep driving straight. This is madness, man. Go past and turn back around so you're in the lane you could turn right? Are you crazy? Oh, now the taxi wants to go left? Bro, I'm not doing anything illegal. This is not... There's no illegality. That's just an asshole move. Now I gotta do a damn th a legal three-point turn just to get into a, a place of business? Now, yeah, and then you're gonna hit me. Then you're gonna hit me and kill me. Okay, great, great, awesome. You, listen, I know you said you can't turn left across a double yellow. You, they, they did not model that in the game, okay? You, what are you honking at me for? You want me to crash into the guy in front of me? I'm losing it. It is too real. I'm so close to like, just hopping the curb and going through traffic. <laughs> You're going, through, going, whoa, whoa, whoa! You honk at yourself, buddy. He's not cut out for life in the Garmin district. Like, okay, I can't, uh, cross a yellow line to get in here. I guess nobody can go to this business then because there's one way in, one way out. Yeah, is there a menu that tells me why I'm so depressed? Or do I have to like go see an in-game therapist or something? Hey, hey, put the paper bag back in the car. That's your emergency storage, man. Click the bar. Sleeping in your car is bad for you, but sleeping on a bench is not bad for you. Make it make sense. Okay, so now that we got our first lesson that I got from my PhD, fire your only employee. Can we, can we not fire him, but just leave him like unscheduled? So if I ever need him again, I could just call him up. <laughs> just have him work when the business isn't open. Sorry, I gotta open my employees. Sorry to tell you, Zach. Satisfaction 91, oof. Well, anyway, rip bozo. Least evil boss. It's a, it's a cold world out there. What time is the business open? I should keep, I should have asked Zach that before I fired him. <laughs> hey, Zach, hey, slugger. Um, yeah, I know I fired you three hours ago at 3 a.m. But uh, 
I was just had a couple of questions about how to open the cash register and uh, turn on the the lights and stuff. I was hoping you could, if you could get back to this uh, as quick as possible, that would really help me out. I did just get a reminder. It's um, it's time for some pog banter because Toasty's uh, laundry is coming out of the washer and going into the dryer, or coming out of the dryer and going into the washer. I don't really have any banter though. I kind of hoped that by this time I would. St. Patrick's Day, top of the morning to you laddies. Hope you're having a good St. Patrick's Day. You know what? It, I've never cared about St. Patrick's Day, really. Ooh. But having a kid, I think it makes you care about like all the... You care a little bit more about all the stuff that you previously didn't care about. Like Even though it's, it, I have no connection at all to St. Patrick's Day... I am like, you know, hey, it's just a fun little day where I can teach my daughter to wear green. You know, that just a little something to mix up the drudgery of everyday life. I am a little scared because St. Patrick's Day on a Friday is like a, you know, once every seven years sort of phenomenon. And I think that I, I prefer when it's on like a Tuesday or something like that because people... You know, they they don't have the same... Op I mean, some people... Life finds a way, don't get me wrong, but it's it's kind of harder to get blackout drunk on a Tuesday as someone who is, you know, has a job. But today's my dad's birthday. We never go out for dinner. I understand. I, I don't like to be outside on St. Patrick's Day. Can you afford a bed? Sure, if I didn't care about putting rocket fuel into my business right now. I don't know, you, is this the problem with society? Every, anytime I get a little bit of money in my pocket, everybody in chat is like, buy everything. You gotta, you gotta do triage, man. There's like a, there's a priority queue and we only have a limited amount of time per day and like 10 hours a day we're running our damn business. But I do think, I, I mean, I'd like to, I'd like to expand our business first. But then I, then I can get a bed. For now, the park bench is doing just fine. This is the problem, man. So everybody, you start by eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then everybody, as soon as they get their first job, they're like, oh, I'm better than peanut butter and jelly. I'm going to start eating, you know, like beef wellington every single day. No, nah, man, you stick with the PB&J. You invest the difference between beef wellington and PB&J in a low-cost index fund that tracks the performance of the S&P 500. Then you can eat beef wellington like a couple of times in require in retirement i know i talked about this like a couple of weeks ago but I, I read an article it was like the crazy people who have eaten the same thing for lunch every day and they had an interview with like a 70 year old guy who eats a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch uh, every day and he basically he just said like i like peanut butter and jelly i didn't see i didn't see a reason to change and i was like that's great because i i I get gaslit all the time. I'm, yeah, I know. I'm the boss. You don't need to tell me that. People are like, really? Cereal with no milk? Are you crazy? I like it. Why, why do I need the min-max just to find myself at like a higher equilibrium that feels exactly the same? You don't even know. What do you mean least happy man on earth? This is, he's actually doing okay. He was completely depressed like a week ago, but then we started sleeping on a bench instead of sleeping in our car, and now he's at least got a little bit of hope. Hang on, let me see. I gotta, I gotta turn off this reminder. I'm sorry, I didn't have better banter. My only banter was about St. Patrick's Day. I think you should only be allowed to celebrate St. Patrick's Day if you're Irish or you're um, married to an Irish person. Like, if you're just, like, a guy, and you're, like, happy St. Patrick's Day, and it's just an excuse to get drunk, I don't think, I don't think, it's a, and I'll tell you, you might say, oh, what well, that's not fair, like, what, the people from Ireland might love it. I'm from Canada. If I got on the bus, and someone threw up on my shoes, and said, happy Canada Day, I would be like, you don't, no, you don't, you don't get it. Because you, you've, you've, you've abused the privilege. Pricing, oh, dude, if I have 100% satisfaction in my pricing... I should raise my prices. That's why I was losing it. People were talking, well, Redditors were talking about inflation. 
and they were like, inflation isn't that high in alcohol products over the last two years, but I'm not going to give them any credit. They had so much demand during the pandemic, they didn't have to raise prices. And I'm like, I'm begging you to take one economics course. As demand goes through the roof, prices should stay the same. Have you lost your mind? That's not the way that that works, man. I mean, I guess you could set the price of whatever you want, but it doesn't make any damn sense. Can you open the stroller for me? Sure. <laughs> Is it out? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she uh, saw the old photo of you, and then she said, what happened to Daddy? Whoa, really? Yeah. In a good way or a bad way? Everybody's gangsta when we're putting together IKEA furniture. Until they need a stroller unfolded. Then you know who they're calling. Sometimes you need a scalpel and sometimes you need a sledgehammer. Maybe on the way back we'll take the hand truck so we only have to take one more trip. That's not my business. Sorry. That's my mistake. And then it just, I'd like to have a door on this room, but you know what? This is not that big of a deal. Dude, it would be amazing to set up a bed in someone else's business. Like set up a bed in their coffee shop. So as soon as you wake up, you're like, boom, coffee right there. I, at this point, I honestly don't see why I would buy an apartment. Why wouldn't I just have put sort of a, set up a gaming PC in the bathroom? Like a game in the bathroom? It even saves me a trip when I gotta go. They're still 100% satisfied with the pricing. The interior is worse with the speaker. Adding furniture like tables, bins, and loudspeakers will have a positive effect. That was a lie. Oh, it's probably the bed. <laughs> That makes, that makes sense. I can see why that would be unsightly. You know what? Let me, before we invest in expensive gifts then, I mean, I'm telling, I'm going to go psycho mode. Gifts are now $37 each. The market price is only 20, but there's a difference, okay? And the difference is that we're going to interior design. And we're going to, this looks like a great kind of carpet for a gift shop. How much is this going to cost me? 1700 bucks. Sign me up. My eyes. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, it's a gift shop. I'm not paying that much for my cheap gift. He is. That's fine. If, you, if, you, if your products are priced appropriately, sometimes customers will say, I'm not going to pay that much for it. Take your time. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, we're we're, we're going to open BizMan. We had a lot of people that, that said that's, uh, that's a little too expensive. I'm taking it down to 35. Let's see. Let's see, how, let's see how people feel at 35. That's just one person. Hey! Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm inclined to say that maybe we were already at the highest price that the market would sustain. So I'm just going to go $1 higher than that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. You know what? I understand. We've we priced it so high, there's been some demand destruction. You guys are lucky you came in after lunch. Prices are 30% are down. We're doing an afternoon sale. You got me! You got me! But look at this now. Dude, they're going crazy for the carpet, too. Well, I don't think we're at capacity for the store. I know it said we're at like 15 to 15 customers, but we're not having 15 customers in the store at any given time. We're having like three customers in the store. I just hope I get enough money to like paint my walls. <laughs> it sounded so violent. <laughs> Don't sleep that long. We might need breakfast in the morning. I'm, but I'm literally just going to paint the walls. What would go nice with these walls? 
Well, like, let's not go too crazy. How about some, what, what kind of, what's this? Ooh, that looks hideous. I love it. That's it. That's it right there. Store looks like a damn zebra. Can I tell you? It, it, I actually am starting. Maybe it's like uh, Stockholm Syndrome. I'm actually kind of digging it. <laughs> it's Sephora. <laughs> He's clinically depressed? No, he used to be clinically depressed. Now he's just like sad. But like, you know, join the club, brother. It's uh it's it's called life and we meet at the bar. Three. Four? Penises. What? What? I have How many one. Penises are you holding up? Yes. Two. You're holding mine up. Oh, I'm so sorry, Taco. I just got a new Wait. tattoo today, and ta it's where Taco lays down on me. Aw. So I have to just keep telling him no, and he looks sad. <laughs> Corey, have you seen the Chibli penis picture? No. Oh, I think you'll picture. like it, man. Is that the one on uh, on Ryan's desktop? <laughs> no, no, I'll put, it in gen I'll put it in general for you, dude. I think you'll like this one. All right, all right. Yeah, you can't show it. That makes sense. <laughs> Wait a minute, you should, we're, we're going to stream the Discord channel in a second, so you should oh, probably get rid of that. Oh! Wow, well, it we're just out. streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, you, yeah. you're doing like display capture on the chance. Discord? Are you kidding me? I'd take that chance. It's not even a real dick. Just delete what? it. This is, what? It's, it's a 13-inch the cock and the my, my ass will just, I'll delete it for you. There you go. Oh, Chad, it's Chibli holding a 13-inch dildo. <laughs> Uh, 14? On my Instagram. 14 inch dildo, sorry. <laughs> with the what, balls, uh, wait, it's 14. Wait, what? What is going on with the face? <laughs> That's what I look like, man. What the fuck do you mean what is going on? That's just fuck, me, Corey? dude. That's really, that's messed up, man. I finally face reveal, and this is the response I get from you my friends. Like, What's up with the face? It's like a skinny and fat face. It's very What the confusing. fuck? Did, Stop it. it. I did add a lot of layers of um, <laughs> big chin, which gave me a double chin a lot, and then it's massive very, cheekbones. It's very confusing when I look at it. It's good. I loved it. Such a pronounced chin but then also like <laughs> like another face behind it leave him alone i think face app is the best thing that's ever been put in this world yeah face app's so funny the only the... thing i'll pay seven dollars a month for for the rest of my life seven dollars a month yeah man does your hat say it's... praying on it yeah it's a brand it's the brand oh, okay i wasn't praying i wasn't praying i promise <laughs> I wasn't saying amen. I promise. I promise. <laughs> I don't love God. Man, that thing would that thing would touch your heart if you took that. That was not even the biggest thing there. <laughs> that, that's the crazy thing. There was a butt plug that was like ten inches wide. Oh God! Damn. Yeah, it was an an inflatable one. You only, you inflated it in Los Angeles. Dude, that was what? I'm not the the saddest part. The most pictures I took on my entire trip was in that sex store. Like I was I was looking at everything. It was awesome. Dude, there's a lot to look at that. behind you, man. I know. <laughs> there's like a sex swing. Yeah, but I know. Also, we tried them out. I don't get that. Is that an employee just like watching you? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, no, they would chill, man. We also brought a game where you like jack off a dick and it comes on your face if you lose. It was awesome. <laughs> and oh the poppers, God, huh? Like, uh, yeah, like we did pie? buy the poppers. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, that's so funny. The pizza pie. Oh, wait, this is going to be so annoying to stream because I only Quiet. have two monitors. I only have two monitors. I only use two when I'm streaming this. How do you only have well, how do you play the game? Time? I play the game on my not middle monitor. I play the game Ryan. on my middle monitor. Like I play the game on the oh, left no, monitor no, and I capture the game in the middle. Away with this! Why do you only have two monitors? What do you need a third monitor for? The two is necessary. I have four, dude. Four is nuts. One of them is for the stream PC. I, I wish I. Had and then four three of them there. are on the main PC. I mean, I technically have four. I have a TV on my left. Two monitors. Is, is, TV on my left. It's got everything the body needs. 
I have if I minimize, and there's not a single bit of desktop space available. Right really, now. I have two monitors: full screen game on the middle monitor. Well, I guess okay. it's technically <laughs> the left. <laughs> now that I think about it, but yeah, yeah. No, okay. right We're monitor, right OBS preview, popped out chat. That's it. You've never seen my chaos setup. Wait. Oh, you use your phone. That's right, you little. Weirdo. I'm gonna take a picture right now and show but it. You're not allowed your to Discord, judge my desk. Your, your, I'm your, Discord, a your Discord's always not available. You don't have your stream lab. Yeah, bro, I'm at work. I'm not checking my Discord. I'm on the clock. Discord's work, motherfucker. Uh, I'm putting in Discord how I do it. You don't have permission to share this photo. This is my. I guess setup. I'll just. I thought you weren't supposed to put things in the Discord. You didn't want people to show because then Man, it did. They're doing this. So oh, many tissues. I just showed it. I just showed it. I don't care. Justin, <laughs> oh my god. No, people can't know I actually brought the 14 inch dildo for you, dude. Oh, shit, might be. Oh, wait, is this oh, all he's of got us? A little... I'm starting. Yeah, it is yeah, for the baby yeah. monitor, though. The baby monitors for the stream PC, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're working think... together? Are we helping each other? Then? I don't no, think we should honest. help each other. <clears throat> I think instead we should be mad at each other when we place it down. Yeah, badly. we should roast okay. each other. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. The, I'll be mad at you guys if you play something stupid, but I won't do it at a high volume so I don't want to make puppy up. So <laughs> you fucking idiot. Yeah, I might say like, really mean things. We're the worst in the world. Oh, so, dude, it's all oh that's original like, PlayStation? That's like a older? GameCube time, right? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if it came out before or after the GameCube. You're on your own here. I have no idea. I think it I came know, out. But I'm not the helping. PlayStation uh, 1 came out before or after the GameCube? Dude, I, I was like eight years old, man. I just I wasn't GameCube. born. It was yet. before, right? Yeah, like like yeah, nine yeah, years before. Uh, yeah, man. Nine years? Yeah, it came out in like ninety five. This You're... GameCube must have come out in like two thousand three or something like that. Yeah, GameCube was oh, PS2. The GameCube was uh, right. PS2. Right. Yeah, that's true. That's GameCube true. was yeah, PS2. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Nintendo! Fuck, I'm sorry, guys. Nintendo. Nintendo, is I it... think, is before Sega? Genesis? Before, I mean, yeah, it's before the Genesis. Oh, yeah, it's just Nintendo. the Sega Master System, right? Yeah. It's, it's Nintendo Entertainment. Oh, that's right. System. That's right. That's kinda, right. Genesis. The, the, the Genesis was. The, uh, 360 was the first console of its generation. I believe that is correct. Why, did mm. the, why was there just a man's face there that got punched? For I mean, slamming it sometimes, yeah. Oh, I think we did okay. a bad job. <coughs> well, dude, the, who the, the freak the, put PlayStation off the game? The PlayStation is gonna screw us. And this is the craziest thing I've Damn, ever seen. That is that when you said I don't know what came first, the PlayStation or the GameCube? I was, I was like, thinking of the PS2. All right, it was an easy. Yeah, day. no, I, I sort of was too. And I wasn't born, so sorry, <laughs> guys. <laughs> My first PlayStation oh, was oh, a PlayStation oh. One after the PS2 me? came out. I'm not I think I've Man got Man this. Man was like 2010, right? I don't. Jerry okay, what the is. fuck is this? I, I don't have this. <laughs> Jerry girl, you don't know I've Jerry. I've never girl? heard of this, but Ryan's laughing, so it was pro he probably had one as a kid. I'm gonna guess um, <laughs> PlayStation. <laughs> right here. Yeah, I hope he did. Man. Oh I want to see a man! Picture of that. Oh, what just, a fucking picture! Listen, that's, that's... just so you know, that thing that's ossified is not 1994. Okay, that's not is the PlayStation. Like we don't oh. need, we don't need to play around it as if it's as if that's the I, PlayStation. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm ruined. What the fuck what does it? this even mean, man? It's probably famous bird. It's probably like I'm a dead oh, man. Oh, that's true. What the? Who the fuck, fuck is this? Uh, this is real. I don't know. I do. I got. I got no oh. clue, man. Okay, well, I, I, it's probably is confirmed real. Confirmed real. Are we this getting like the worst? Sucks. Like, <laughs> what a bomb! I'm a bird. Like that's gonna. That's gotta away. be. That's that's before the W. That's no, that's their board. Are you insane? What? That's the <laughs> WWE player being born. Oh, oh. fuck! Ryan, 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 Ryan. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? We should all kill each other with a gun. What the f There's That's no definitely way. before she was born! <laughs> what do you mean it's before she was born? That was before I'm like What a is Lady Bird? Is this a, a bird or like a show or a film? It's a movie. It's a okay. film. Okay. Oh, fuck. Maybe it was so I think you did okay, I have my gun ready. It's not Larry I Bird saw. after <laughs> I'm like a bird. He put I'm like a bird before this person was born. This shit came out in like right. 2001. Don't, don't, you're compounding the problem by putting it there, though, instead of putting it where it's supposed to be. Why did this guy just put born. Linda B. Johnson in 2018? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> also, Larry Bird didn't marry Lyndon B. Johnson. That's not Larry, 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 Larry Bird. It was Bird. Lady Bird. Oh, Lady Bird. Dude, <laughs> put this in the garbage corner <laughs> quickly. Oh, shit. Oh, Look at what I've got. Hard. I had... I had Larry Bird, Lady. Oh, I thought they said Larry Bird twice. <laughs> I thought it was a Larry Bird too. Well, okay, this one's definitely nestled in here between Larry Bird and Lady Bird. But after I'm like a bird somehow. Oh, shit. Oh, Just right on the game. Oh, no. Wait, yeah. That's okay. okay. It's before Lady Bird. Oh, what the fuck's Lady Bird? I thought that was the fake. Movie. Oh. Oh, Lady Bird. <laughs> Uh, what? Fuck what, off! What, with this, yeah, what, are these what is this doing? shit? This version of Quick Sort sucks. Oh no, it can't no, fit there. It's can a very it? cool concept. Oh, oh my god, it can't fit in the trash. I can't get it in the trash. <laughs> it doesn't go in. It doesn't fit, <laughs> man. No, no. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. This okay. Now. Who even cares? Bird app Twitter is found. I mean. Ooh, he's got no time. What? Uh, what? what do you mean? What? Post what Lady Bird. I, what, I, what do you, where do you want me to put it? It was before the veto. Oh, veto. oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh, we got one. We got, we got Danny no. DeVito. Honestly, I put it in a pretty decent fucking spot considering what of a nightmare that was. Guys, this one's going to be tough. No, you're not getting to justify it. <laughs> you're off the Untitled Goose game, man. If you got to throw something out, throw well, it to the right to real quick. I don't know what I don't, yeah, I'm is. fucking 26 years old. I don't even have walking. <laughs> <laughs> Two latest pants. Also, I live in New Zealand. Oh, I I, who the plant. fuck is Linda to be John? Corey, 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 get ready. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chaps, chaps, chaps. Chaps, 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 chaps. chaps. gonna put chaps, it over here. Chaps, chaps. It seems pretty good. Chinos. Chinos. Um, those off new? the chat. Don't stack them on top! We got no space! No! Clutch! 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 Dungarees! Dungarees! Gory! No. I couldn't move it! It wouldn't move! <laughs> It wouldn't move. Sorry, we gotta, we gotta run this there, back. Dude. I don't bro. know gotta, why you're acting like you couldn't get it. We gotta run this back, man. A this chap is... should be first. No, Arsenal's chaps in the wild world. We did pretty good, oh, honestly. Good. Oh, Slacks are good. from 1824. Okay, guys. Come on. <laughs> Stop. <Crunch it. laughs> I think we all fucked up the birds. So I'll, I'll, I still think that Larry Bird and Lady Bird are pretty, or oh, Larry no. Bird and. Two. A Sue Bird are closer than I'm like a bird, and I don't know what I've I lost. I it. didn't realize it said born. That's my bad. I thought I've been the, like, just like Next one? it didn't purge the trash one though. <laughs> it really likes keeping that one there. Oh, it's staying there. Oh, oh, this shouldn't be too bad. These are just like Apollo I'm one, sure. Apollo two. Yeah, I just didn't think of any Apollos, just put them in numerical order. Cassini's old. I don't want to help. I think. I was like an, uh, an Italian man. I think Venera is like the oldest. Well, oh, never really? Mind. No. <clears throat> never mind. Oh, right. Right. oh my god, you didn't know. It's like the <laughs> oldest. Oh, I, right. I was implying that's the oldest one. Holy shit. I have no dude. idea, honestly. <clears throat> I'm just gonna. Fuck. I, I didn't realize gonna... Ryan's vast wealth of knowledge ended at anything space related. Jesus Christ. I've seen Apollo 13. Oh. Yeah, it's not, this isn't really. It's me. crazy you wouldn't know about Voyager. I don't know what the, I don't. I, uh, 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 this is Honestly, fake, right, guys? you might feel differently no. if it was not your country <laughs> doing all this shit. It's, well, this one's Russian. It's like the first. Time well, you should know space. Sputnik, obviously. Yeah, well, Chibli doesn't. Oh. No, I <laughs> did. Look, I got it. <laughs> base, 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 base. <laughs> Put that oh, one in the future. So good. <laughs> yeah. You didn't know the Japan one, though? Honestly. Yeah, I don't live in Japan either. Sputnik sounds like a slang for potato. <laughs> Sorry, guys. News, man. You don't watch the news. Just be honest. It was on YouTube. Oh, Cassini was way newer. My bad. Shit. This must Why be did he the... say Chibli doesn't oh, know Sputnik when I yeah, got Juno it? Yeah, right. Juno was fake. I thought I got tripped up. Hayabusa was real. It was that shit like 1971? Uh-oh. No streaks? What? That's looking all fucked up. Didn't we get a streaks? Oh, this dude, this is my area now. No, we can now do now that. you're... Yeah. Everybody's gangster when we're talking about Voyager. <laughs> get ready for Did I Do That? I've never watched this well, sitcom. I have the only ones I'll get a Big Bang Theory. Well, Bam's real? That's real? 
I only put it Did there. Did I do that? I put well, it there because the you, you said it in such a way that I thought it was real, so I was gonna put it in the trash. Wubble up a dub dub. That's uh, yeah, Rick and yeah. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. The, My uh, ass was on my way to the new. trash. Then you went, "Wa bam!" in like a funny voice, like it was a thing that we all know. And I was like, "Okay." Get a load of this. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. All right. What do you have? Ash, that's Ash gotta be old Barbie. too. Early, early. I think that could be anywhere. That could, honestly, you can tell it's be, early because like, I'm actually gonna pop right here because like probably after the moon landing, they're like, "Oh, go to space." But they, crazy. I mean, this is no way to say this without making it sound. <clears throat> incredibly offensive but when did the first oh, woman go to space fucking... one this that's one fucking 90s is shit i don't think barbie no. was like there's gonna be a be female a astronaut older. or like you think this is older yeah like, female barbie. sorry that, female that might be listening females to space can you believe this <laughs> computer engineer sorry, barbie sorry. ryan did say that I like did, that i did say that Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Alright, uh, hang on, let you finish. It could have been a worse uh, infamous Beyonce speech. Beyonce had the, the best uh, record of all time, one of the best something of music all time. Videos? Music videos. Yeah. Yeah. Videos, yeah. Uh, oh, this is uh, towards the end, right? It is the Tibli. end. Tibli, Tibli, put one of the best videos of all time, man. Oh, oh, guys. Tibli, what the hell, man? Oh, my God. What is wrong with you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, no. Are you... Wait, why did you make me sick and guess myself? Because you were putting it way too far in the end. Oh, oh, man. It just goes right... Oh, my God. You can buy some pepper pressure really, pressure really easily. Oh, no, no, no. no. Was, I'm like uh... a two-month-old baby. You can't what? tell me to do <laughs> things in aggressive tones. Oh. Should I put this before the other of all time? <laughs> I will put it after, after. After, Maybe after, you motherfucker! Are we gonna fit Beyonce in there? Are we gonna fit Taylor Swift? Did, did, did you listen to what I said? I said, should I put it before of all time? And then you're like, before <laughs> <laughs> or after? I was okay. I'll put it after of all time. Um, you guys freaked this up. What the hell? This is the what last you do? one. That's the end. That's the end. I'm gonna put it. Uh, oh, see, that's here. why I got confused. There's a lot of all times in here, and one of the best. One of the best. one of the one of the best music videos. Oh, no, left, of left, all left, 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 no left, 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 one, left one, left one. There you go. That's perfect. One of the best music videos. Then we can fit no. of all time. Uh, well, we don't have another all time on top of it. All the time. One of the best music videos. <laughs> one of the best videos. Well, if Come we had on, of man. all time in the right spot, then we could have stacked it in the right place. But Beyonce had. Yo, Yo Taylor. Taylor. That's the beginning. First. I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> Oh, Guys, I've never I'll seen this speech. I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> so Beyonce, uh, you Kanye, Mama, Kanye's kind of freaking problematic, guys. Why are we even <clears throat> doing this? What you the heck? He this one, I'm, I'm mad because it's just, it's not even Kanye, it's just the English language. <laughs> it is. It's it's a, I'm gonna Taylor. let you finish. Yeah. See, I knew this bit. Yo, Taylor, Mamma Mia, I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, besides one of the things, it went pretty well. Can you shut oh. the fuck up, man? <laughs> <laughs> let everyone forget about it already. Oh. oh, shit. I've been deceived. Okay, okay. Oh, look, I got it right. What's up, Sam? I feel like the puppy's gonna wake up soon. Dog. Because of his typing? <gasps> no, I'm just, not in a category. It's getting to that time of day. Hang on, I, I know I did this last night, but I've been waiting on this for like two and a half years. We get it, you have a dog. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't got any sleep in like 10 days. Oh, it's so hard to have a dog. Something else that is alive needs me to not uh, die. Oh, he's really rubbing it in, man. It's been like two years of this shit. He's really, we've waited for this. It is true. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, is he growling? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, Apollo, yeah. chill out, man. Is that a <laughs> is that Apollo? That is a good one. That is a good one. This is a fucking motorbike, man. What is wrong with you? It did oh, sound, sound like a like motorbike. <laughs> he did say motorbike. Well, you don't know what was that? Is. Was that me? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I think I just heard a, a motorbike go <laughs> by. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> 
<laughs> okay, no, no, no. This We're not gonna, gonna do it. On. This is yeah, gonna. <laughs> this is gonna kill the game. You could just Dude, it's a one-off, one-off, man, one-off. Worms if it's not seven, though. Worms if it's I mean, not I'll be seven. fucking pissed off if it's not uh, seven. It's gonna be like a three. I voted for eight just because I know you and I. I thought there was a chance. I can't count. I can't count. It's seven a.m., man. I gotta. I gotta. I wake do up. like those two D's and and. That's a chip classic. Look, I'm hedging my bets, man. It'd be crazy, right? It might be eight. I don't remember. Fuck. What the hell? It's seven. What the hell? Why? What the hell? That's kind of cheating, whoever wrote that one in. They should fuck off. <laughs> Ghibli has been suspended for two games by the Department what? of Player Security. What the fuck? What the hell? I'm beating Ryan? I'm not saying it wasn't hard. I'm just saying your answer was wrong. No, of course you're beating me! You literally wrote right seven on your answer! Oh, I did do that, didn't I? <laughs> it's, it's stunning you're not in first place! <laughs> I beat... <laughs> Hey, let's all calm down. I feel like we're getting very hostile in this environment. <laughs> we're all friends, okay? Oh shit! Here come the glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that's not really that's a stick not a figure. Stick figure Ryan. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> What's coming out of his face? Yeah, what is coming out of his face? the hand He's got a stick or arm coming out of his fucking collarbone? There's something wrong yeah. with the right side of his head. What is happening? I think this guy's a genius. Ryan, what the fuck did you draw? I don't know if that thing. I like, think that it erased Michael? some of my lines. <laughs> it's not a stick figure, my guy. He's made out of sticks. Oh, what oh the fuck? God. We didn't receive a guess from you? I clicked like eight times. This guy's a genius. Whoa! Oh, I, That's I what I was know. clicking too. I'm fuming. I'm fuming. He's yeah, not I'm a human. nine. I didn't draw like an exposed brain or something you didn't draw like a stick that. Figure. <laughs> you didn't draw a stick figure. Everything you say is irrelevant. Okay, I also you guys didn't got draw it a right. stick figure. I'm so sorry. Well, I did, but my stick figure is super close up, so it's fine. It does kind of force us though. I'm silent. I'm, I don't even know. I'm, I'm not adding confidence to this at all. I did, but I can't wait for Chibli's explanation. And then he'll be like, look well, at him, he's so smart! He he has a really big head, which means his brain is probably very big, so I guess this is an eight. Just he's kidding, he's really dumb. Okay. Let's go, let's go. How oh, am I meant to draw one. a one? Like that, yeah. I nailed it. It was yeah, a brave Thank you. One. You guys, if you want shoes, then that's good. Well, no, if they're shoes, they should have been a one, so they're not shoes. No, one would be they're like... They're definitely not weight. You can't lift your own shoes without struggling, you're well, a you one. Well, you gotta lift, shoes. You lift them over. <laughs> what is this? Huh. <laughs> Uh, so, my prompt said, how well drawn is this stick figure? Okay, someone's lying. <laughs> no, I wonder. Uh, I'm, I'm serious, it said, how well drawn is this stick figure? Okay. okay. It did not I mean, it's it pretty not well drawn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, go based, based on what you based said. Based on I mean, the... Go up here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, two people didn't liar, listen. I, see. I mean, I don't think this is very well drawn. It has miss. It's missing a leg. What? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. never mind. What do you mean? This is, not, this is not an eight out of ten stick figure. Yeah, this it's is missing. Like a, it's, it's like missing one leg. leg. Yeah, it doesn't have hair. It doesn't have like. A, it doesn't have joints. Well, if you wanted to be way to a ten, would have hair and like have joints and stuff like that. Has no fucking clue what a stick figure. Is. If you drew just the standard stick figure, that's a five. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you there. No elbows, no hands. Yeah, you could stick all that shit. Well, you guys aren't drawing on a zero to ten scale. Then you're drawing on like a zero to eight scale. It's like the people who put nine for smart because the guy wore glasses. I could have done a huge veiny forehead, like his brain was popping through his forehead. Could have given him a pocket protector or something like that. You gotta give yourself room at the margins! I don't know, man. You don't want to got it wrong. That's too many details for a stick figure. Yeah. Do I need to deflect my rage? I need to uh, spit my rage. What's that from? Hey, man, like brother. <laughs> He's a spitter. Oh. I don't know, man. It's <laughs> a left for dead. <laughs> Ooh, I think it was. No, I mean, like, sucking penis. Oh! Oh! Suck on a Venus. <laughs> a Venus. A anyone here? Anyone here ever sucked a dick? <laughs> Just me? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh, Just trying to nice. get the conversation flowing. Smart. 
I haven't. It's uh, my it's my curse that I was born attracted to women, and it's. I mean, it's a it's a hard cross to bear. Oh, it's a mm -hmm. curse. You brave okay. for uh, saying it. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I mean, oh, this regular. You pivot? could acknowledge it is regular pivots. Uh, okay, okay. I know Did, it's uh, it's impossible to say in the modern era without getting canceled, but um, I'm straight. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I, I think I think it's just something that like I was born with. I didn't choose it for myself. Dude, you won't get canceled if you just acknowledge your freaking privilege as a straight man. Come on, dude. If you're watching, you can join. Okay, or no, or don't. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know where to go. A... I think the worst thing you could have done there was remain silent. It was a suicide pass. <laughs> no, it's not. The only thing that popped up in my head was what privilege. That's not the answer that you're looking for. <laughs> Ryan, what Ryan is feeling now is what I feel in quick sort. Like, I'm just stressed out about the And you'll score 1,000 for finding it. But the answer is you don't say what privilege, I think, is the correct answer there, Devin. Select the category. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. I'll help you write the tweet longer. Their apology. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you yeah. know what? I'll choose mental health as our category. Just it seems... really, this guy. This guy's never sucked his own dick either. It's kind of weird. Here's your first. Question. I can't. I got too many ribs. Uh, Don't worry, babe. I'll be the IUD. I can't wait to find out what the real <laughs> one is. It's gonna be exciting. <laughs> my my. Did and then you I, get too I close to the in there and I well? pose. I climb in there and I pose for like eight years. Pardon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, uh, I missed the first up. part. He oh. said, "Don't worry, babe. I'll be your IED." Okay, which or, I, sorry, <laughs> IUD. <laughs> IUD. What the hell? Oh. I mean, I know the answer because it told me when I typed in my answer yeah, that your answer was too close to the answer. Can I tell you once I, want... I was at a friend's house and uh, his dad came in and he was like, I got a deep colonic today. I'm hooked on colonics. <laughs> <laughs> I think about it every so often. I'm hooked, hooked on colonics. Work for me. Hey, he's hooked on colonics. Oh, the audience fucked me. The audience lie. When, when your ex-wife brings her Tinder date to the divorce trial. <laughs> really? I thought gave birth was like an obvious yeah. lie. Me too. I literally yes. typed. I that's typed like gave birth. <laughs> it was just like, that's too close to the answer. This dude has no idea what he's getting into. Date I mean, date four, uh, now you got a kid? Nice work, bozo. I, mean, I respect the commitment. <laughs> <laughs> talk about, talk about, <laughs> never mind. Were you, Were you gonna say, you gotta say it, man. Were you gonna say straight privilege? No, I was gonna say, talk about, uh, <laughs> Buying high, selling low. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh, honey, you got yeah. a the little head massager. Well, you gotta pick Florida, dude. Uh, to me oh, this isn't as exciting as I thought it would be. Attacking their blank. Enter your eyes now. <laughs> not the ear, not the ear. <laughs> what oh, did I my. type that? Oh, you look so bald. Mm. It's true. I I am so bald. Wow. Well, not as bald as you. I didn't know it was a contest. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not okay. Oh, okay. It's not okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was a goose there. Oh, man. Two of these answers <laughs> I, are I so know. good. I know Justin's oh, answer. Oh, man. You know my Fuck. answer? Yeah. I think it might be the real answer. Really? Golf cart? Yeah. I it's I like hilarious if it was attacking your Honda Civic. <laughs> Diet, <yeah. laughs> Diet Cokes is also very good. Moments of truth. Ta da! Fuck. Oh, okay, I'll watch your eyes. Ooh. Their lawn gnomes? In the garage? Oh no! Hopefully. Oh dude, that's so good. That is a funny laugh. I was like, oh, that could be like out. an aggressive thing to it. I don't know. Oh! See, How does it? Justin. No! Yeah, right. I told you oh. it was Justin. I wasn't gonna you vote You did, for it. but I didn't trust right. in me right. more than you. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Justin. Seems plausible at the rest. 
Oh, so it has to be true. What? I'm a simple man. I see Diet Coke. I click. That's so funny. Can you let Luna do the next one? Okay, okay. Can you say something to the call, honey? Can you say hi, Chibli? Hi, Chibli. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh my... Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> what the hell? That's the best person in the world right there. You caught the goose? Yeah. Well, what does the goose have on his back? A yeah, what animal has a shell? It's a turtle. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's absolutely right. That's too much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who just put Tommy? <laughs> Tommy in it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Who wrote that one? This is so funny. <laughs> oh. Don't laugh. Oh. It's really funny, oh. honey. Oh. I have no Tommy. idea which one this is. Tommy in it! Tommy in it! I would have laughed a lot harder if the puppy wasn't still asleep. Hey, don't touch it. <laughs> I didn't even see what I picked because I was just laughing. You know what Steve Jobs said to his daughter when on his deathbed? You smell like a toilet. Did he say that? Yep, he said that to his, on his deathbed to his daughter. He said you smell like a toilet. He was all fucked up. Wow, honey, that's super cool. Thank you. <laughs> hey, come back, come back. Dang. Aww. Good job, Ryan. Thank you. You're the winner. Well. Hey! I feel like this happens every time. It does happen. Yeah, it time. does happen. <laughs> <laughs> we all love you, Ghibli. Okay, let's play again. We could do a fibbage about you real quick. Yeah, yeah. Time, yeah. Right? I think Good. I gotta go um, to exit the pack first. Or exit the yeah, game don't menu. apologize. You didn't make the game. What were the devs thinking? What were they thinking? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> <I didn't know>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man, you ever just go to the bathroom, look at the guy next to you, and give him a peanut? No, all the time, all the time. Dude, I think someone was jacking off in the urinal next to me at the streamer awards. So. <laughs> was it, was it squeaks? <laughs> it was squeaks, man. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He said, he said, watch me, I'm going to BLJ. And then he started like doing that shit like that for 25 minutes. He made the exact same sound, too. Oh, that's a good on him. Oh, oh, I started the game, sorry. Are we ready? Wahoo, yeah, wahoo. yeah. Wait, who's hello? Oh, sorry, that's me. <laughs> I need this I just had, there was a typing box. I thought it would already know my name. Well, well, above it, it says. This thing above it, man. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Hello, dude. Leave me alone. Hello. You should have put me Hey, hey, that's messed up. Don't make fun of his accent, okay? There's something he can't control. He can't. He can't. He can't. I can't. I can't. No, he can't. I'll have you know, someone on my flight who's very American said, I don't even sound like I'm from New Zealand, so. That person's a fucking Up yours. Liar. Smart, yeah. smart, yeah. smart. Yeah. 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 Here's how the venture. I'm gonna be my question. They thought I was British. Wow, mm -hmm. this is a mess. <laughs> I have no Apollo, I'm sorry. Idea. I'm sorry what everyone has done to you. No, I mean, it's funny, like I said, because, like, you can see there's a consistency to all the answers except for one because I got a different prompt. Mm. Are you saying that the oh, okay. answer must be pussy? <laughs> <laughs> pussy money weed. He's gonna... Let's see how it shook out. Have you seen the Valorant clip Ooh. that's like, for every kill you get in this game, I'm gonna give you an uwu. Uwu? Uwu? For every kill you get, I'll give you an uwu. <laughs> Alright, bet. Uh, oh my god, I'm so nervous. Aw, <laughs> you're adorable. <laughs> uwu? <laughs> Oh my god, that is so adorable. Oh, Anise! Oh, you're so cute. There's a lot of those, dude. 
Yeah, see, it asked me something that you would hate to have whisper in your ear, something that would make your skin crawl, which was like, you know, something that would make your hair stand on end. It was like really specific about it. Didn't see, and it did not say the word cringe. Holy cow, he's zooming. Ryan, I have a stream idea for us. Okay. We should do that. We should do the <laughs> Valor and Ulu thing. That would be great. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. I'll see you on Monday, man. <laughs> will you? Is it, when do you do Daylight Savings? I will. I don't know. It's just going to happen. Wait, I thought coffee. I would do the Ulu because I'm really bad at Valorant, so Wait, I can't get any What is this for? Oh, Chib. Sorry. Fuck, I forgot that's your name in this game, though. Hello. You know what would be really, that, but... like, BM is if I just, like played an insanely high-pitched frequency sound <laughs> through the Discord right now that only a dog could hear. And then your dog would start going crazy, and I'd be like, dude, you gotta take care of your dog. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> dude, you gotta take care of your dog. Like, I just ghastly when you're thinking that it just had, like, behavioral issues for no reason. I'm so upset at just the phrase, awesome pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing saying it to someone. That's horrible. But you would you say that, Corey? <laughs> All the time. Hmm, right, interesting. Oh, baby girl, oh, I gotta go pee. Ah, fuck. Uh... Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm sorry. I gotta leave early, otherwise she's gonna pee. Dude, your dog. You gotta take care of your dog, man. Just play on your phone. Thanks for playing. Uh, goodbye, goodbye, thanks goodbye. Thanks goodbye. for having me. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. You gotta keep that hoe on a leash. <laughs> like everybody went so like nice. <laughs> and I don't think anyone wanted, wanted to like oh, um, objectify awesome. women. No. Oh, except the audience loves to the objectify women. Right? Corey. <laughs> what? Who wrote awesome pussy? The disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? Oh my god! Cheeseburger at McDonald's. I haven't seen Top Gun, so I don't know what the hell their nicknames are. Can you give me some examples of Top Gun characters? Maverick. Maverick. Goose. Iceman. Iceman. That's all I can think of. <laughs> well, I typed in the truth. Harley Quinn. Did you get you it in the things? truth? Yeah. What the fuck? What the hell? Kimbo Slice. What is it? What did you type in out of curiosity? Oh my uh, Mr. Fuck's too good. <laughs> Dude! Oh, shit, Dude, I spoiled this shit. my license plate! Fuck, Dude, fuck. It's, weird. it's gonna be it's crazy weird. if Mr. Fuck's too good is on this. <laughs> I was- I was gonna laugh really hard if it was fucking awesome pussy. Chad came up with the best one. They, they came up with bald eagles. Oh, that is good. That's pretty good, yeah. Justin, you check on, uh, Mr. Cool Ice lately? Uh, no, it's been a bit. Oh my god, Mr. Fuck, cool I Eyes. I remember checking on him, like, maybe, I don't know, like, a couple years ago, and I was like, damn, he's looking good. Does he, like, I live mean... near you? Do you just, like, show up <laughs> at his house? Why, what happened to him? No, I was just, I was, I was asking you as the closest source I have to Mr. <laughs> cool Ice updates. No, nah, no, nah, I mean, I, I feel like he's, uh, he's thriving, you know? I mean, he was in good shape in, like, 03, so I just keep it going. Damn it. All right, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, is this right? Oh, yeah. okay, good. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Oof. What the fuck is sweep? I kept trying to think of something less obvious to put in, but then like the only thing that came into my mind was like Slick Billy, and then I could just hear like <laughs> just, just hear like Apollo's voice being like Slick Billy. Why? Why would you have? Why would they ever call you Slick Billy? And I was like, I don't know. I can't. I just can't think of anything else. Oh my god. Billy. What the? F That's like. <laughs> No, that's good, man. You should have gone with that. Slick Billy. Slick Billy. <laughs> well, GG. GG. Slick GG. Billy. Oh my god. Oh, Slick Billy. Slick Billy. Fucking Slick Billy. You know what I hear about Slick Billy? What's that? He's Slick. Awesome pussy. Awesome pussy. Oh, awesome <laughs> pussy, dude. Ah. <laughs> uh. Right, good games, uh, lads. GGs. Later. Games. GGs. GGs. Good games. GGs. See ya. Later. Bye bye. 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 You ever see that uh, tweet that is a screenshot of the person on Slack that says, "Guys, I'm stuck in the WeWork lift." 
And then the Slack bot replies, guys is a gendered term. Please consider using non-gendered terms like folks. And then they type a second later, folks, I'm trapped in the WeWork lift. Oh, man. You got me so good. Oh, man. Anyway, let me make sure my wife is ready to go here. It's fake. Well, like, the joke is real. It's like... What's crazy is, like... Like, that's as real as a stand-up comedian's jokes. I was walking down the street the other day. Really? Because you've been telling the joke for 11 months on tour. I was... I don't know. It's Jay Leno. I was driving my car, one of my 25 cars the other day. And then, 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 then I, I was trying to... Somebody was trying to cross the street. And I said, what are you doing, buddy? And he said, I'm jaywalking. I looked at him and I said, you know, that's funny. Because I'm jay driving. Nice to meet you. It's not that bad for just coming off the top of the dome piece, right? Like, cause I didn't know where the punchline was going to come from that at all. And it just sort of came together at the very end. Jay Leno does not sound like that. Yeah, but if he did, that would be really, that would be a really good impression. That's one of his bits. Jay Leno jaywalking. Jay Leno jaywalking videos. Oh, jaywalking is something that he does where he interviews people on the street. We're out surveying people in Ventura, California. We're going to find out how much sand they think is on the beach today. Did, I could see the Fred Armisen comparison. Fred Armisen is like one of my favorite comedians. And I don't think I've ever laughed at a single joke he's ever said. He's like the, the, the Wes Anderson slash, slash Frasier of stand-up comedians. It's like every joke, when he tells it, I'm just like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get that's funny. And it's not, I'm not even being derogatory if you were like do you want tickets to see Fred Armisen I would be like buddy I'll clear my schedule you would say how peculiar Fred Armisen how peculiar I see Swiss army man which deals with a corpse <laughs> hi honey here can you just can you go out on the sofa and daddy will come out in just one minute okay daddy's doing his puzzles <clears throat> I see Swiss I mean, there's a lot of corpse on this one, I'm noticing. There are five movies. I see Tucker. I'm going to assume that's Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Where's Evil? That, that also deals with a corpse. It also deals with dead. Let's start with dead. Nope. A hillbilly, of course. Okay, that, was, that should have been a given. Dale. Mercenary. Man. Tucker. J Tucker must die. J John Tucker must die. That's a movie. I don't know what movie. It's maybe about a mercenary. Right, Army of the Dead, which has, um, I'm going to assume, a hillbilly in it. Army dead. Oh, okay. Fourth wall pool dead. But we need Swiss Army man, too. And that's Swiss. I'm in trouble, guys. I'm in, a, I'm in a lot of trouble here. It's taken me too many swaps. It's like corpse. What the heck? These are part of two different movies. Dark Water is a movie about pollution which must feature a lawyer. Oh. <laughs> but it probably doesn't feature an army. It's about it's water. Why wouldn't you keep that in there? Okay, I've only got seven swaps. Hello, honey. Swiss Army, man, and then we got five swaps left to find the, the, the meat. The average is 3.9, so we already beat the average. What, dead mercenary fourth wall pool? I don't know. Deadpool. 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 That's Deadpool. Okay. Makes a lot of sense, honestly. 
Um, that took the wind out of my sails <laughs> in a big way. I'm thinking of like Army, Army of Darkness. Which would, but that requires corpse. It de I see Dark Army. E evil? Wait, but I can't swap these. I have to, I have to swap them like this. Dark Army. Yeah, those, those, and dead, and evil. Evil, evil, dead, of course, I'm so, I don't know how many times I've said it, dead, evil, dark army. Oh my God, okay, we've done it. Movies five of five, swaps left three, but there's more, there's more movies to find, apparently. Well, I'm good with that, that's fine. Is Kate live? I guess if it's five of five, I'm done, that makes sense. Kate is live. Okay, enjoy your weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. I know a girl who has a level two bear. She's always overriding whatever food was there. She don't like garlic. She don't like cheese. She don't like lemon or any of these. She uses scampi. Honey also works here, it makes more sense. Sorry. What the hell is this? This early flaming lips. Boomer. <laughs>